So, so this is Burpee's Comic Book Asylum. We're going to go ahead and cover the best cover, the best writing, the best arting, and the best overall title for this last week. Again, I want to preface this by saying these are titles that I picked up this last week. They may not have been new last week, but they're titles that I finally purchased last week. I do have a huge assortment of books just sitting in my box waiting to be picked up. Some a few months old, some a couple weeks old, some brand new. So over time, they will maybe potentially infest these lists. Uh, in another month and a half, hopefully, uh, I'll have all those purchased up and we can start doing this so it's fresh every week, brand new stuff. So if you're not a fan of titles like tonight, sneaking in and getting a place on this list despite not coming out this week, just stick it out with me and in another week or so we'll be back and uh, we'll be back on track. So anyway, so as I said, some titles sneak on the list despite sitting in the box which a lot of times I put stuff in the box based on the potential for suckage. Okay? So, anyway. So we got Dark Rain Fantastic Four number one. Okay. So, it wins for cover. Pretty sweet. Take a good look at that. Alright. Or hit pause, find it on the web open another, another little window and go ahead and listen to this as opposed to looking at my ugly face and look at this beautiful art. So, usually, uh, I don't know, not, I guess not usually, let me take that back. I go back and forth Simon Bianchi's art, I'm going to be honest with you. His X-Men stuff, I really don't enjoy the way he draws like Cyclops' visor and things like that. Just little nitpicky things I don't enjoy, but he draws a really mean Fantastic Four. His Ben Grimm looks vicious and rocky. I mean, that, that's that's an iconic Ben Grimm right there. Look at that. That's how the thing should look. That's amazing. Uh, also, I mean, just in, I mean, not not also, but in general, just I mean, really beautiful stuff here. The way the flames are going all over to the Human Torch, uh, the contortion of Mr. Fantastic's bo body and his fingers coming out. The way that Sue's invisible bubble, you can see it yellow, you know, with the flames from her brother coming over and, and, and lighting that up. Just beautiful stuff. It just, I mean, that's just gorgeous. So, uh, while it's not the most interesting title or interior art, but the interior art's beautiful too, don't get me wrong, but it's just not, uh, it's not really notable aside from that cover, but God, you know, if you're going to sell a title, you want a beautiful cover, and I'm betting anything there's people who picked this title up here based on that cover. I know I did. I, I wasn't too interested in the whole Dark Rain Fantastic Four aspect of it, but uh, that's that's a beautiful cover, all right. And I'm a completist now. I've got the first one. We're going the rest of the way with it. All right. Next up, we've got a title for best art ink. So anyway, Punisher number five. All right. This is a fucking awesome title. Okay. I've been saying this on on the blog since it started. The the art on this title is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Let me find you an image here. It was probably my favorite image of the week. This isn't it, but this is just as good too. You got Ant-Man Punisher, bloody as fuck after coming out of a guy. That shit is classic, all right? But later on, this right here, that is fantastic. That is probably my favorite image of the week, right here. Look at the Punisher skull on his Ant-Man helmet. All right, that is awesome. The graininess and just the sketchiness, which I've, I've come to be a fan of over time. I, uh, when I first started reading comics, if it wasn't clean and it wasn't, you know, really pretty and you know, pretty-looking people, I really didn't enjoy it. It was hard for me to get into, but as my tastes have developed with age, I really have come to enjoy the sketchiness. Uh, of some art. Uh, some art's overly sketchy though and you can tell they're overdoing it but I mean splash pages like this one are just gorgeous. I mean the attention to detail here uh, by Opeña is, is fantastic. I'm really sorry to say though that I think I read the other day that he's actually done with this title pretty quick here. I think it may even be in the back of this issue. Yeah, back of this issue states that he's done. Uh, so that's that's very disappointing because um, the title has been good. Rick Remender has done a fantastic job, but I'm not sure 
who the next artist is and that could make a huge uh, impact on whether or not I continue to pick this up because a huge drawing point for me has indeed been the art for this. The writing has been really good too though, I'm not going to lie. But when you get a combo like Remender and Opeña on this, you hope it's going to last more than five issues. They better be putting Opeña on something fucking fantastic like the relaunch, the relaunch of Iron Fist once it's done with the, the short minis they're doing um, with the weapons. I don't know, it's very disappointing. But anyway, so, uh, I don't know, what else is there to say? It's just beautiful art. And uh, Jerome Opeña, you uh, have been nominated for the best arting of the week. So we'll see what you can pull down when we put all the best arting of the weeks together and decide a best arting of the month. We'll be doing that next week. So, there's that. Next up, we have best writing of the week. And again, let's go on to Punisher number 5, Rick Remender. Overall, this title was fantastic. It was a great conclusion to a great arc. It's creative. It's fun. It's gruesome. The dialogue is on the spot. I mean, the action is Johnny on the spot. The, there's nothing here to, to really complain about. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a huge Punisher fan. I, I, I have a hard time making it through a long stint of Punisher, okay? But as long as Rick Remender can keep this as fresh as it is, and they can get another artist on this of the quality of Jerome Opeña, which is going to be difficult, you know. It, it's Let's be frank, it's going to be really difficult to match up an artist with Rick Remender like this on this title. But, you know, Rick Remender is going to be able to keep it coming back. The way he does the hood, okay, the hood is a great character created by Brian K. Vaughn. He was in, introduced under the Max brand when it first in, uh, initially was launched. It was a fantastic little arc, and since, you know, obviously the hood is really blown up in... In Brian Michael Bendis' hands, he really kind of gave him the kickstart again, but Remender has written him the best of anybody since his return uh, and since Brian K. Vaughn wrote him. So, really enjoying that. And I uh, hope you are too. So, anyway, I don't know why I took a long silence there. I had a look over that uh, art and writing and, and really just reflect. It's really actually... It's lighting in a bottle, okay? It's rare that you find such a great combo and put them together. You got Miller Hitch, you got Quietly, and uh, Morrison, and I really honestly believe Rick Remender and Jermaine o Jerome Opeña are are in that list. Controversy, controversy, controversy. Go ahead and click the ramp button now and scream your heads off. I know I just shook some boats. Anyway. So, anybody want to take a guess? The overall title of the month. Punisher number five, knuckles. That's right. Fantastic shit here, guys. Uh, overall, I don't know what what more is there to say besides that the arting, the writing, everything was fantastic on this. Um, I don't have a complaint, not a single fucking one. When you get a title that you don't have a complaint for, that's obviously probably your forerunner for the uh, t overall title of the of the week. So uh, again, this whole this is a little gem here. If you didn't pick up these first five issues, Remender and Opeña, you missed out. You really need to go back and pick them up, pick them up and trade, do whatever you need to do. But get a hold of these. These are fantastic. It's gritty, it's dark, it's fun. So, great stuff. Go ahead and put that cover up there one more time. The cover's been pretty cool, too. I've enjoyed how you either get Punisher fucking up the hood or you get Punisher fucking up Norman Osborn Green Goblin. Uh, basically, whichever character you want to see get fucked up the most or whichever character you enjoy the most. Uh, it's a great way to do variants. Alright, so that's that. But uh, that's, that's it for reviews. So uh, this has been Burby for Burby's Comic Book Asylum. And these have been my reviews. You just got your best cover, best artist, best arting, best writing, and best overall title for the week, in my opinion. And I'd love to hear yours. So... If you're at YouTube, why don't you go ahead and wander on over to www.comicbookblogspot. Comic. Rewind that shit. It's been a while since I fucked it up, but we're going to take it back. www.comicbooknethouse.blogspot.com. All right, that's right. I'm a fucking idiot, okay? My own website, and 95% of the time, I can't remember where it's at. <laughs> what do you know? Anyway. And if you're already there, go ahead and click the ramp button. You know the routine. Let me know what you think. Tell me I suck. Tell me you love me. Whatever you like. See you next time. Peace.